our car farm is like 10 miles away! Hello there, traveler. Welcome. We have all manner of weapons, wenches, supplies, whatever you need, sire. I've come in search of power. If it's power you seek, it's power ye shall have. What does thou need the power for? Oh, actually, my Tesla just broke down up the road. I just need a little bit of juice to get me to barter town. Oh, it's electricity for your motor coach that you seek. I have just the very thing you're looking for. Feast your eyes on this jewel. What the hell is this? This ain't even big enough to power a Baofeng radio. Come on, man, get me something good. Oh, I see you're a gentleman of discerning taste. Well, this very well should suffice. Listen, old man, I don't got time for these tinker toys. I said I need more power and I need it now. Oh, aren't you a feisty one? Very well. This one here is the personal favorite of Lord Humongous himself. Hmm? F Lord Humongous! Ah, but sir! More power! More power! Yes, there is tales of an item of boundless power, but I do regret that it has corrupted kings and serfs alike. To merely gaze upon it is certain damnation. Show me. Very well, sire. Yes, it's mine. All mine. No, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. That just goes to show guys, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Today on the channel, we are going to be sharing with you something that is revolutionary in the lithium solar generator off-grid power solution space. Now, just like me, you're probably getting sick and tired and annoyed of every single channel and their dog doing a review of one of these off-grid power solutions. But this one, I assure you, is absolutely exceptional. So let's talk about it. So it should go without saying that in an emergency, electricity is highly beneficial. While it's not the first thing you need, the first thing you need is your beans, bullets, band-aids, and means of self-defense. However, having power for things like refrigeration, running your surveillance cameras, providing lighting, boiling water, CPAP machines, power tools, well pumps, an uninterrupted power supply for your electronics and your computer systems, communications devices, even an electric gas can for your EV, there's a variety of different uses for an off-grid solar generator in an emergency situation. I've done many reviews of Zendir products. In fact, one of the first, probably most cringiest review that I ever did of a portable battery bank was of a smaller Zendir portable battery pack. I've reviewed the Superbase 600. We are going to be reviewing the 2000 and now we're gonna be reviewing the almighty Superbase V. This is a whole home turnkey solution. It's coming a Kickstarter. In fact, we only have another week or so to get one at a amazing early bird price. So I would encourage you to do that if you think that uh, what we talk about today is up your alley. Now there are plenty other prefab DIY modular lithium solar generator solutions that are on the market right now. This is the first real competitor with the Tesla Powerwall in my personal opinion. 
and it's modular and it's actually available. The problem with the Tesla Powerwall is that they're putting all of their assets into their EVs, so they don't have any batteries left for the Powerwall. So here in Canada, I don't even know if anybody has one yet. So there honestly is a lot to unpack here. So kick back and let me rattle off some specs for you. Now, the reason why this unit here is so exceptional is because it does a lot of things that have never been done before. For starters, it is one of the first semi-solid state turnkey whole home power solutions on the market. Man, was that a mouthful. While it's offered in a semi-solid state configuration, you can also get it in a standard lithium ion phosphate configuration. So what are the benefits of the semi-solid state solution you might ask? Well, let me tell you my good man, it is that it actually has 42% more energy density. Okay, that's a lot. This right here is a 6,400 watt hour battery pack. That is unbelievable. This is a 6,400 battery backup. So together you have 12.8 kilowatt hours of power. To put that in perspective, the Tesla power walls, I believe are only 10 kilowatt hours of power. So this just right here is bigger than that. Plus it's stackable up to 64 kilowatt hours of power. That's a lot. Now the lithium ion phosphate version is actually only 4.2 kilowatt hours. That means that if you're getting the semi-solid state version, you're getting a lot more power in a much smaller package. The downside of the solid state is that it has a lot less recharge cycles, only 3000 compared to 6000. Now 3000 recharge cycles guys, that's a lot. Okay, if you were to recharge this thing every single day, it would still last you 8.5 years. And that just doesn't mean your battery is going to crap out. That means that after that period of time, it's only going to be about 70% of its original capacity. The other benefit of the semi solid state is that they are far more durable and they are safer. As we all know, we've all seen the videos of the Teslas randomly exploding. That's because occasionally it's very rare, but lithium batteries can have this runaway thermal effect where they just heat up and they explode. The chances of that happening with a semi solid state battery is slim to none. This is going to be important. Of course, if you're putting something like this in your home now, right now there's a Kickstarter campaign going for the next seven days. If this is something that might interest you after we talk about all its features, then I would encourage you to capitalize on that because you're going to get it at a significantly discounted rate. One thing I can say with confidence is that if there was ever a company that I knew will actually deliver on time when they say they will, it's Zendur. They're just a high quality premium manufacturer and I know that they don't do anything prematurely. Now, you might be asking, what can it power? The real question is, what can't it power? If you were to combine two of these units together, and that's actually what I would probably advise people to do, because that's going to allow you to produce 7200 watts of usable electricity. And that in and of itself should power most of the devices in your home in the case of an emergency. Most of these smaller solar portable battery banks are just that. They are for the purpose of powering small scale electronics for shorter periods of time. This is the first unit that I've seen that is going to be able to power literally everything in your house. You're not going to be able to run your AC and your fridge and your water heater and everything all at once, but you can use them in sequence. And of course, if it's an emergency, you're not trying to live like the Joneses. You're really just trying to power the bare essentials. And that's what something like this is going to allow. So let's talk about the form factor of this thing. So as you can see, it's big. This is 130 pounds and I believe this is around another 100 pounds or so. So you're definitely going to need a friend unless you're me to help you uh, bring it up here. Actually, the communist cameraman helped me because I'm just getting a little crusty in my old age. But as you can see here, there's wheels and the wheels are actually powered in the back, moving it around very easily because it's self propelled. It uses the power, of course, that's on board to power the wheels. The front wheels have lockable casters on it, so you could make it 
stationary if you want to. The great thing about this compared to a power wall is that it's impossible to load your power wall up in your RV if you want to go for, away for the weekend. And even though you might need a friend or two to help you get this in your vehicle, it is technically possible. Okay, so the portability is a big selling point. They are going to be selling an integrated home panel unit that you're going to be able to use this as a legit fully fledged home backup power supply, but that is not available yet, but it is coming. There's so many outputs on this thing and I'm not gonna do it justice in this review. There's just too many capabilities that this thing has. As you can see, there's four AC outlets, which I believe are going at 120 volts by 15 amps. So that means each one is about 1800 watts. You also have your 240 volt option. So your RC plug and your 240 volt. And this is the first unit of its kind that can actually simultaneously do 240 volt and 120 volt. So that's a first. You also have a plethora of USB-C outputs, USB outputs, DC outputs, and a bunch of other connectors that I can't remember the names of, and I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about with respect to that. But even the extra battery has its own share of outputs here as well. It has a DC output if you need it. Now, this unit can actually almost fully recharge in a couple hours if you max out its charging inputs. If you were to put solar panels on this, charging at 3000 watts, this will connect to your home solar power array that you have on your roof. This one unit, the 6.4 kilowatt hours, theoretically you could do it in a few hours. Realistically, it's probably gonna be like half a day with 3000 watts. If you have extra batteries, of course, that means you're gonna need a greater uh, solar array. There is solar inputs on each individual battery as well. So that multiplies and reduces your charge time significantly. Now, one of the cool things with this system is you can actually not only charge your EV from it. Now, for most power generators of this uh, size, I would say that, yeah, that's kind of a gimmick to market it as a way to charge your EV. Because if you don't know, EV batteries are about six times as large as this, okay? If not more than that. They're calling this a, like electric jerry can of sorts. Uh, but the reality is you're probably only gonna get maybe 50 miles of range, but it's better than nothing. So yes, you can do level two EV charging uh, through the home panel that's gonna come with this. Now, one of the coolest features of this, I think, is that you can actually take it to a level two charging station and you can charge it up that way and it's gonna charge relatively fast. I think it takes around three hours. Now, I know that seems like a long time, but remember, there's a lot of power in this thing. Let's say you're on a, a trip and you're in your RV and you wanna recharge your batteries in a pinch, you, you can just hit up a level two recharging station and you can fill it up that way. So with any lithium battery bank, you're never going to get the stated amount uh, that they say. So you're always gonna have to reduce that by about 10 to 15%. Based on the tests that we've done, the capacity that is stated by the manufacturer is within a reasonable range of what's actually in here. We clocked around 5.7 kilowatt hours. That is well within the acceptable range of any system like this. Now you can also use this as an uninterrupted power supply. It has a 13 millisecond switching capability, which means that when the power goes out within 13 milliseconds, this thing kicks on, your computer won't even notice. Now the maximum power output is 3,600 watts, but there is an amp up feature, which will take it up to 5,000 watts, and it achieves this by lowering the voltage and increasing the amperage. The warranty on the battery itself, I believe is eight to 10 years, depending on which version you get, the lithium ion phosphate or the semi-solid state. I think the semi-solid state has a slightly longer warranty period. So make sure that you guys go and check out that Kickstarter campaign and lock in that early bird pricing. And on the Kickstarter campaign page, they provide a lot more information that I'm sure I missed here because the capabilities of this thing are just so vast that there's no way a dullard like me can condense it all into a 15 minute video. All right, you guys take care. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com.
where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code prepping gear for 10% off. Don't forget the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.